नमस्ते व्यूअर्स एंड वेलकम टू अवर टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग लास्ट वीक वी हैड द एनालिटिक्स ऑफ दिस चैनल एंड इट वाज रियली डिसअपॉइंटिंग टू नो दैट द रेशो ऑफ द व्यूअर्स टू द रेशो ऑफ द सब्सक्राइबर इज वेरी पुअर सो वी इंसिस्ट यू एंड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू द व्यूअर्स हु हैव नॉट subscribe till now because it is very important for us to continue that we had a good number of subscriber for this channel also we request you to share these videos with your friends and colleagues as much as possible on all the possible social media platforms like linkedin facebook twitter instagram etc so that we can reach out to maximum number of people with this important information today we are going to see a very more common fitting pipe fitting that is the reducer but what is more important is the we are going to discuss the most infrequently known information that is the information about the reducer which is very important but not known by majority of the people so basically reducer is nothing but as you can see in the picture that it consists of a major diameter pipe and a minor diameter pipe and it's usually conical shaped fitting so it is used wherever there is a change in diameter in a pipeline so let us see what are the different types of reducer quickly we will have a look and enjoy the video so there are basically two types of reducers eccentric reducer and the concentric reducer so from the geometry itself you can see that in eccentric reducer this is the small pipe and this is the large pipe side so both the axes are eccentric to each other why we are going to use this because in case where we want to maintain the bottom of pipe same that means whenever we are going to support this pipe on the supports pipe supports which are at the same height in that case we go with the eccentric reducer a concentric reducer it is most common you can see the small bore pipe and the large sorry the small diameter pipe and the large diameter pipe both are having the same axis so this is the these are the two types of reducers we have seen and moving ahead we are going to see an important rule which is very useful when you are into the design or whether you are into the site and erection team uh, what is the limitation for size reduction for the reducer uh, so i will try to explain you like for example if you have a size say 26 inch 26 inch is the major diameter and what will be the minimum size of the reducer for 26 inch diameter of pipe so the rule for that is half of the header size or i will say the major diameter uh, unfortunately here we have a typing mistake it is not header it should be the major diameter of the pipe because we know that in reducer there are two diameter one is the major dia and the minor dia and the reducer is connecting these two diameters of pipe so half of the major size pipe and one size below so in this case it is 26 inch half of 26 inch 13 inch but 13 inch pipe is not available there is no such pipe which is having 13 inch uh, dia so the next size is 12 inch so we have to consider half of 26 inch pipe is 12 inch pipe and we have to go one size below that is the 10 inch so we will having we will be having a reducer 
for 26 inch dia pipe minimum size is 26 inch by 10 inch so this will be the range of reducers which will be available for 26 inch pipe so the first size will be 26 by 24 inch 26 by 22 inch 26 by 20 sorry 26 by 18 26 by 16 26 by 14 26 by 12 and 26 by 10 so total eight sizes of uh, reducers are available for 26 inch diameter so this is a very important rule uh, many of you uh, must have learned this or uh, came across this for the first time but please uh, note it and because this is very important as far as the construction is concerned as far as the design wherever you are using the reducer this rule will be important for you one more important thing is that this rule is applicable for reducing p also like if you have the header size 26 inch and the branch size minimum branch size for the standard reducing t that will be available will be 10 inch so the, i hope that uh, you like this video and uh, this information will be definitely useful for you and we again <laughs> insist you that uh, share this video put your valuable comments your information also because uh, in many videos we also get some additional information which is not known to us because no one is master in this field okay so keep sharing the knowledge and uh, we will again reshare it to the masses whenever you will you can reach us to uh, us on our email also uh, which is given here we have our website uh, you can visit our website it is full of uh, information knowledgeable information uh, and if, uh, thank you for watching this video have a nice day goodbye